Virgo, welcome to your June reading. I hope that you're doing well. Okay, the first card that we have is the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. So, hmm, we have a few things here. So, we also have this Ten of Wands here. Can I get some clarification? Um, yeah, so the main thing I'm getting here is like someone is telling themselves they're not doing enough in some ways. They're like, you're not working hard enough, you're not doing enough. And it's weird, someone might be kind of, you know, like romanticizing the idea of like exhaustion and just being, you know, so busy and all these things like this. But with this Nine of Cups here, um, there's a really big draw towards you this month to just be content with where you're at in your life and being okay. And also like this is really helpful when I'm getting it's just for you to find, maybe if you feel like your life is a little bit slow paced right now, something like this. Um, it could be the opposite message for someone who is like really exhausted and working so hard. But it seems like in any case, um, the right now this is like in your life to help you to find some internal joy, some internal happiness regardless of the external. So there might be someone who's very like goal oriented and stuff like this. and. I also think it's very good to be ambitious, things like this, but it's really important to also find like your happiness internally and to learn to be content with regards to like your perspective on your life and um, and also on yourself and like your accomplishments. So yes, yeah, it seems like this month is just very important. Um, you're going to be finding some internal happiness and contentment kind of outside of like this more intrinsically um, rewarding things. Okay, we also have the Four of Wands and the Judgment, judgment card in reverse. So, um, what I'm getting with this actually is someone might like, some Virgos might be thinking that their family, here's a few things, they might be thinking that their family is judging them for something. So like you might be thinking like your family, maybe that you got this idea from your family you have to always be busy, you have to always be working hard, something like this. And so you think your family, someone thinks your family or other people in general are judging them about like their foundation, um, things like this. But I'm getting this is actually not true. These people aren't judging you for this. Um, and they might even notice like, oh, this person like Virgo seems very happy. Um, and this is what they're thinking about of you is like that you seem like you have this kind of radi radiative, uh, like glow to you of like happiness and like contentment and joy so this is more so what they're thinking about you if anyone's concerned if they're family or like just kind of this more traditional like judgment is on them um i'm getting it's not the case this might just be something that you're placing on yourself yeah also with this magician reverse and the seven of swords in reverse it's like someone's having this really big um realization here that while you can strive for goals it's like being happy even while you're manifesting things so like yes like you're working and manifesting for yourself you still have these you still hold your vision for things you still you know have your desires and things you want to do but being content even while you're manifesting them is really going to help you to kind of get rid of this anxiety um yeah like manifesting from a place of joy um rather than like anxiety and lack or something like this. We also have go the distance. So I'm getting this new like contentment and joy. Also there's a lot here about like, you know, meeting some goal, going a certain place, obtaining a certain thing. Um, but it seems like actually with this contentment that you find within yourself and kind of learning to not act as much from a place of anxiety, learning to like different ways to soothe yourself when you're feeling like you really want to obtain this thing because it's exciting or whatever, but instead of being so anxious and stressed, it seems like it actually helps you to go a lot further, to have a lot more energy, to be a lot more sustained and like while you're trying to reach your goals in the process of it. We also have reflect in reverse, um, okay, and calm. So yes, there's this big sense of calm coming in for you this month. Um, some of you might be also like doing some certain 
practices of like mindfulness and bringing like having this more integrated in your life um, specifically with this like teacup on this card I'm getting some people might do some kind of meditation with like tea or you might have some kind of like evening tea some morning tea that's really a time for you to just be calm and like reflect possibly um, yeah Okay, we also have spent some time on self-care, so um, kind of with this new energy that you're feeling, something like this, it seems like this month you're going to be more inclined to spend some time on self-care. I'm wondering some of you are really developing some new routines that help you to feel more um, like rejuvenated and things like this. Like I was saying with the tea, you might make some extra time to set aside specifically to reflect on things, like a very intentional time of reflection because sometimes things are just like running on autopilot in your mind like we're always reflecting and processing things but um yeah maybe just specifically setting aside time to reflect on things could really be helpful for you um to kind of clear up some like mental anxiety things like this okay we also have a uh, message from this angel sonia I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Um, yes, yeah, so if anyone is um, concerned or this is just a message from someone um, that is deceased, a loved one of yours, um, yes, and that they love you. Okay. Um, we also have find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So, yes. Um, it seems like really finding these new routines, integrating these things into your life, um, yeah, you're just going to have a lot more energy and a lot more harmony, and like kind of counterintuitively, it does make you a bit more productive. Um, so, yes, it could really, like, it does seem like you're kind of getting rid of this mindset of, um, yeah, always needing to do more and like it ends up making you do more that you focus on other things but it's also like you still are doing other things and maybe you're recognizing like the importance of that besides work, besides these external goals like these are still very important valuable things obviously and they're an important activity for you to be doing so kind of recognizing how there's this equal importance to things like that are more calming, that are more passive Okay, um, I will do my best to make the best of it. The key to regaining your feeling of empowerment is to decide right now that no matter how good or how bad you are feeling, you are going to do your best to make the best of it. Do that again and again, and in a short period of time, you will find yourself in a very good feeling place. So, um, kind of how I was talking about like feeling good while you're manifesting things. Um, yes, this can be something that helps you to... Um, feel good in the present is just to decide that you're going to make the best of your situation um, no matter kind of where you're at. Okay, so thank you Virgo. That's all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you like a personal reading, please email me. The email for that is in the description of this video. Thank you.